Welcome to 5 Minutes with Robert Adams, where I share my findings from the Bible about the end time, and especially that which concerns the return of Jesus. This is episode 4. In the first three episodes, we saw from Scripture that before Jesus comes back in glory, there will be a short time of trouble on earth called the Great Tribulation that will start when the Antichrist enters the rebuilt temple in Jerusalem and makes his blasphemous declaration. Now we'll look at the question of how long the Great Tribulation will last. To arrive at the answer the Bible gives, let's first take a look at a verse in the book of Daniel that Jesus referred to in the book of Matthew when he told about the starting point of the Great Tribulation. It reads, His armed forces will rise up to desecrate the temple fortress and will abolish the daily sacrifice. Then they will set up the abomination that causes desolation. A little later in the book of Daniel, we read about a number of days after the events that mark the beginning of the Great Tribulation. We read, From the time that the daily sacrifice is abolished and the abomination that causes desolation is set up, there will be 1,290 days. The period of 1,290 days is equivalent to three and a half years. We can compare this to what is written a little earlier in the book of Daniel, where we read, There will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. Then I, Daniel, looked, and there before me stood two others. One of them said to the man clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river, How long will it be before these astonishing things are fulfilled? The man clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river, lifted his right and his left hand toward heaven, and I heard him swear by him who lives forever, saying, It will be for a time, times, and half a time. It says here that the time of distress, which is the Great Tribulation, is going to last a time, times, and half a time. This exact phrase in Daniel is also mentioned in the book of Revelation. It is also stated twice in the Revelation to be 1,260 days. It is also rendered as 42 months in two other references in the book of Revelation. These prophecies imply that the time frame of the Great Tribulation is three and a half years. Obviously, the 42 months or 1,260 days fall within the 1,290 days in the book of Daniel. It's evident that this amounts to a literal period of three and a half years. We can compare this to Christ's words concerning Elijah's time when he said, the sky was shut for three and a half years. However, some expositors have the notion that the Great Tribulation will last seven years. This idea is based on a passage in Daniel's book which mentions a period of seven in the end time, an expression that many translations render weak. The meaning of this seven or week is apparently seven years. The Great Tribulation is certainly connected to this period, but will not last the whole of it because the book of Daniel says, In the middle of the seven, he will put an end to sacrifice and offering, and at the temple he will set up an abomination that causes desolation. We have already seen that what is described as happening in the middle of the seven triggers the Great Tribulation. From then on, only half of the seven remains, which represents three and a half years. It is during this short time the Great Tribulation will run its course. One of the reasons why the Great Tribulation will be short can be seen from what Jesus says about the end time. In the book of Matthew he said, If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. From the continuation of Christ's end time discourse, the Great Tribulation will come to an end when he is revealed from heaven at his return. What you have just heard is based on an excerpt of a book I have written called The Approaching Apocalypse. 
You can get information about this book from my website, lastdaysdetectivepublications.com. Thank you for listening.